All right, so next, Baron Corbin is interviewed by Caleb Braxton. This is silly, this angle, like he's broken stuff and everything. And so I actually saw the w- one of these websites. I didn't see this explanation on this show, but this does make a lot more sense that he could lose his money that fast. He says he put it all in Bitcoin. Right. Like Joe, right? right? So like, you, like you could literally, you literally could lose everything in Bitcoin one day. You know what I'm saying? One like the, day, the yeah. Not now. Yeah, it's like you know. So, uh, so yeah, that. So they should have said um, they should have said Dogecoin. Yeah, that would have been. So yeah. this is a. Uh, so this was kind of this is silly, but at least it's a running thread throughout the show. And they actually do have a funny gimmick later on uh, with the, with with uh, Baron Corbin in it. Right, and uh, like you yeah. said, and and right, and lead they're doing continuation, good storytelling. I like the fact that he said some guy stole his identity and he had right. to ride the public bus. So right, yeah. right, yeah. He's like they're, they're making it's like you know it's right. like a story. You know, right. for like, you know, like soap opera story in the middle of a wrestling show, and it's kind of corny. But I'm, I'm interested to see what they're what they're going to do with what this. the that's, payoff is, right? Right. That's that's why it's interesting because they've been doing good TV, so they they should right. have a good payoff, right? Right. Um. So back. Okay, this was funny. All right. <laughs> Backstage, uh, Shotzi and Knox were having issues with their missile launcher on their tank, which was silly. But Kevin Owens asked if they tried to use hammers. So they're, they're like, "Work." This is for the romp, the kids again. Okay. Right. Owens walked away. It was approached by Baron Corbin who apologized while saying he didn't mean to insult him over the years, the way he dresses and looks. And Owens said Corbin has had that bad habit for eight years, you know, being a jerk to everybody, right? right. He said Good no one feels you. bad for him. Corbin asked Owens if he would forgive him. Owens noticed that Corbin was wearing a stained shirt and asked for the same one from last week. And he said, yeah, but having to eat spaghetti out of a can. Owens took some cash out of his pocket and gave it to Corbin and told him not to be a jerk to people. And it was right. like 60 bucks, right? Right. <laughs> So the next thing you know, they're working on the cannon, and the cannon shoots the toy missile and hits Corbin right in his groin. Right. He sells it. But the best part is Dolph and Rob Maroon walk by, and they roll him and take the money that Owens gave oh, him. That was a great – that, bro, that was a great scene, and it was like a little Nerf <laughs> missile. Pop. Right. Yeah. He got hit, right? He slayed with the money in the air, and they right. come and take it. That was, it was actually bro. comedy done very well because it produced – bro, you know like when they do the comedy and the crowd sh- on it that yeah. was comedy that actually got the pops but this is this is yeah. this is what this is what's good bro for months and months and for since we started doing the reviews mm-hmm. smackdown was terrible and look mm-hmm. how watchable it is now right, you know what i'm right. saying yeah. yeah 